This episode of The Pit is brought to you by Epic Six Productions. For all things epic, go to www.epic6p.com. This podcast, the highlight reel, videos, embarrassing photos, you name it, we got it. And for all of you advertisers out there, if you're looking to advertise anywhere, come to us. We need bandwidth. Let's start the goddamn show. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. I'm one of the best singers, one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. Hold my drink, bitch. Hey, everybody, we're all gonna get late. I'm gonna put my nutsack on the front sack. Okay? At least you're having casual sex nowadays, like playing Russian roulette. And I know I've thrown my dick on the crack table many a night. You think I hey, motherfucker? God's watching me through number two? Oh man, I'm a sinner and God's a pervert. And welcome to episode five of The Pit. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking uh, a bunch of shit and, uh, you know, how we do. So sit back, relax, have fun. Hope you guys are all caught up on uh, episodes through, uh, one through four. And if you're not, do it or we'll kill you. That's right. And uh, tonight we are joined by the one... The only, the very sexy, at least that's what the girls kind of think, I I don't know, uh, Mr. V-Pang. Hello, hello, it's good to be back on the show, guys, I love it. It was good to have you back. It's awesome that we could fit you and your jaw in the same room. And your giant head. Yeah, I do have a big head. Yeah. Really big head. That's yeah. what she said. It's got to hold that fucking jaw, so. <laughs> hey, it's a Chinese jaw, man. Got it from my dad's it, side. It, it's a lucky jaw. You know those, when you go into like the Asian stores and they got that cat with the, the paw cat. that just <laughs> goes forward and back, forward and back? His jaw is that lucky cat. It, like, it has that much luck with it. It's like gold plated. It's it's the jaw of destiny. That's wow. Awesome. Are, are we going to talk about my jaw? Uh, show, yeah, for uh, the first few seconds, yeah. Fuck you, yeah. Because mm. I want to go to Chinatown now and get a fucking lucky jaw because mm. I need some luck in my life. <laughs> Speaking of Chinatown, everybody, happy New Year's. Chinese New Year's, by the way. It's the year of the snake. Oh, shit. Watch out for the snakes in the grass, niggas. Or the trouser snakes. No, I like that even better. Yeah. Trouser snake. Is I'm talking a... about the snakes in your pants. Yeah, trouser snake. We covered that. <laughs> oh, he's foreign. <laughs> don't slow. they say trousers there? I don't know. I'm a slow guy. I'm a slow guy. That's all right. Speaking of slow... But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that story may be coming to you at a later date. But. Right, right, right. And I'm E. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. E, you know, sexy white guy at the table, you know. Uh, this is not a reverse Oreo show today because we just got a white guy, black guy, and a Cambodian. So uh, you in, bitches. That's how we roll. It's like a shitty color spectrum. It's like yeah, yellow, kinda. black, white. It's... We're I I don't know we're we're like a like a Wiz Khalifa video or something I, I don't know what's going on <laughs> we're here. like Wiz Khalifa's hair <laughs> <laughs> who's put the peroxide <laughs> son of a bitch all right so um as we all know in a couple of days that uh that Cupid holiday is coming up that uh Hallmark fucking trademark Valentine's Day who's uh, looking forward to that hot shit wow you know what surprisingly. Yeah. I don't mind. I, I it's be, maybe it's because I've never really celebrated it, and this is like the first year that I'm actually looking forward to it. No, oh, so good shit. wait, really? You never celebrated it ever? No, really? No, I, I I never needed to, never had to, never. No, you never like, hey boo, here's some flowers on Valentine's Day. Other than no, me telling I, you that I love you. For it, you I, it, it, was, it was always just like. Ah, shit, there's like a month and a half until baseball starts, and that was about it. Save money for the tickets. In other words, he was heartless. The guy has no heart. (laughs) I do now. It's Valentine's Day. Come on, I'm like that. Is it the lion that grew the heart? Who was the... Yeah, yeah. Well, he was a cowardly lion. Or the 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 tin man. Who got the heart? Not the cowardly lion got courage. Tin man got hurt. Okay, I'm the the motherfucking tin man. Scarecrow just moved and walked down the the road. So... Yeah, but no, but yeah, Valentine's Day, I don't mind it. Now, Jason, I, I see, I would think you would, you would kind of like Valentine's Day being that you are the excellent, excellent, you know, very excellent. relationship guy that you are. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm shitty at relationships. I'm just good at being a good friend, but uh, Valentine's Day, it, it's not that bad. It's cool. You know, um, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm kind of vanilla though. It's always kind of the uh, dinner and a movie. And, and missionary uh, sex? No, 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 no missionary sex. We're, we'll switch it up for that, for for that day. 
But yeah. Well, well Jason, uh, kindly tell us what you did today. What was your mission today? What the fuck does that have to I do with Valentine's I Day? It's, it's setting it up for Valentine's no, Day. I mean, relationship Stevenson. He's talking. Uh, he, he's trying. But, but, but what Vance is trying to establish your V pain. He's trying to establish that you know you're. Yeah, you are. You are a man. I helped in a, a friend today. Is what I did. Oh, that's what you did. I helped yeah. a friend. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I helped. <laughs> Rolling my eyes, rolling my I eyes. Was. She's a, a very good friend. She's one of my best friends. Yes, oh, I helped her. That's today. awesome, man. You're yeah. a good friend. Like, um, I, I would do the same for you, fuckers. Well, so you would take us to the to the Bay Area today. Uh, you know, have some deep dish had, pizza. Uh, all right, look what what these two dicks are trying to get across. My friend had a uh, doctor's appointment today, and she needed someone to drive her out to the Bay. And uh, I said yes, I would help her out because. Yeah, it's it's cool. There's it's not nothing problem. wrong with that. Yeah, there's no. nothing. I mean, you know, no. you, you're you're a great boyfriend. That's I would have done the same. You know, yeah. you know, for my, my girlfriend, girlfriend, I would have done the exact same thing. Yeah. You're a great boyfriend. Dude. Great boyfriend. <sighs> Whatever. So, wait, but but see, the thing is, I'm in a relationship. You're in a relationship. This guy over here, Vanchi. The question is, what are you doing for Valentine's that Day? That is way better. That is a way better because question. this thing is a way better question. Like, I I I don't know your relationship status or anything. I I know that. You are presently single, but I don't. I don't know exactly. Like you have if, friends. If you have, you have a lot of friends, you have friends that you would probably drive to the Bay Area too. Yeah. Well, to answer your question, yes. You know, I, I I am single. Um, I do have a lot of friends that are girls. Um, but you know, it's it's just friends, and I have really nothing that planned for Valentine's Day. I really don't. I mean, it's one of those days where you're celebrating one day out of the year. You know, to show love and. Affection, but you celebrate every day. You well, show them love and affection every day. No, I'm just. I don't. Oh. I, I don't. I mean, like it. Well, yeah. Technically, I do. I I love everybody, but um, uh, I think that Valentine's Day is just a waste of day because um, see, you know, you don't you know. need Hallmark to fucking tell yeah. you that I love you or yeah. I care for you or exactly. I'm your friend. Van, Van shows his like, love to these friends every day. Like he's like the Dalai Lama. His religion is kindness. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm a nice guy. Yeah, there's you nothing know. better than like a text in the morning. It's going, hey, just thinking about you. Just Hope you have a great you. day. Well, I know, you know, that's good. That's ha- happy, you know, day, two days out, three days after President's Day or Lincoln's birthday and four days before the President's Day. Yeah, there you go. That's Van Shea is more patriotic. I bet you you're celebrating more of the president stuff, right? Yeah, I you know who was it Washington's birthday this week? Uh, I don't know who. Yeah. He's got his Apollo Creed um, boxing uh, uniform in the closet. I just saw not too long ago. So you know what's funny yeah. with with the Valentine's Day thing is that there are some people who are just so like firmly opposed to it. I almost feel like they're opposed to it either a because they're bitter, b because they're broke, or c they're just lonely. Because honestly, I was that guy. I thought Valentine's Day was stupid. Like, but now I'm like, I don't know. It's not so bad. Well, well uh, not good. You want to go first, Jay? No, go good. Okay. Go <clears throat> well, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, you know, at a, at a point in my relationship, I actually enjoyed uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, was the fact that because it was known as V Day, uh, you got <laughs> yeah, yeah, you conceited <laughs> bastard. Yeah. So uh, if yeah, you this got, is my day, baby. February 14th was Valentine's <laughs> Day. 15th was whatever. 16th, my birthday. Right. So uh, basically those three days, whoever I was with, was with, um, it was just like. It was your day. weekend. Yeah, it was my weekend, you know. and Which is a, a big change from the norm from what everybody else is fucking used to because it's always about, well, the perception is, it's always about the female. But luckily for you, you lucky bastard, your birthday falls on that weekend or in that, that day slot there. So you can be like, you know what, baby? Let's just make this about me. Or if she cares enough and you don't even have to say shit, she'll be like, you know what? This is about you. Yeah, yeah you know, that's true. Because, uh, I mean, I'm not going to name you names. Uh, well, past, of course not. Uh, past girlfriend. She's, There's no need for names. I had the best V-Day weekend ever. I mean, as memorable as one of those, you know. Like, it's like, that's why I kind of hate Valentine's Day now because I'm so spoiled by the, you know, for the past. But well, what kind of things happen on this Valentine's Day? Um, You know, I just, you know, like. Like a bunch of lovey dovey stuff, you know, like um, like anal. All no, right. uh, man. For the, for the no listeners, anal. for the listeners out there, I just want to point out that uh, Vanjie's hands are behind his back and he's uh, tucked <laughs> in under the table, <laughs> and for some reason, the table on his end is starting to rise. It's 
That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Talking about it. That's all mm, I'm saying. No. Old, um, old tripod well, cane. <laughs> 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 no, what's uh, what's so special about you know that V Day was? Uh, I just felt loved, man. I mean, like you know, those three days were mine. Whatever. Um, I felt like. Did you lose your virginity that day too? No comment. <laughs> no, I. Man, Anal or like, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it was just a great week, you know, a great weekend for me or whatever it falls on. And uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I mean, I don't have any qualls about Valentine's Day. But, but, you know, you brought up a point earlier. Why is it always uh, just about the female? You know, now I'm thinking about it. What about us? Like, well, because here's the thing. Like, you know, we get girls like, you know, jewelry, chocolate. Right, or, right. or I mean, not necessarily, but like. That's what's commonly like the the norm. But well, why why can't why why don't we get shit, dude? Here's my thing. Um, all right, in Chicago and in the Midwest, cats out here don't know about it, but somebody had that same idea and was like, you know what, the guys need something, and they came up with Sweetest Day, and totally made up fucking holiday. Totally made. Well, up. so is Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. But Sweetest Day hasn't fucking made it out. This way, or probably even in the east, it's a Midwest thing for, and it's just for dudes. It's the dude. It's like for the girls to, to do shit for their dudes. Well, so okay, so break it down. Like, how's what, is it a specific day? It is. Don't ask me what the fuck day it is because I don't remember because I haven't celebrated the shit in forever. But it's like somewhere in, I want to say like I think it's in January. I don't know. My people in Chicago can correct me, or I can look it up. Whatever, but. It's um, it's for the dudes. It's like you know, it's the reverse of Valentine's Day. It's for you, for the ladies to to treat day sweetie is what it is. But on another note, if you look at all the commercials right now, I am so fucking tired of this season just because everything is every kiss begins with K and he went to Jared and blah 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 and all it is is fucking engagement rings, engagement rings. You got simp ass niggas on the fucking. On a commercial, fucking <laughs> getting this girl a ring, and she's like, "Oh, it fits." And he gets down, on, looks at the dude behind the counter, and gets on his knees, like, "Because I already had it sized." Shut up! Fuck you! Go fuck yourself. And, and you know what this what sounds like? This sounds like bitterness because I firmly believe this is the next step in your relationship. No, nah, nigga. Yeah, that's true. No, no, both you niggas is getting married before I do. Every, it'll be yeah, every kiss begins with now. Jay that this time. In the corner, nah, is getting he is married going before. first. Nigga. He's then going you. first. I'm gonna be man. the last of the Mohicans on You're this. You talking one, about nigga. man? Come on, I love where I'm at right now, bro. Where I mean, where exactly are you at? I am a single man, enjoying life. I don't have to wake up to anybody. I don't have to wake up to next to anybody. I can go piss. Uh, I can leave the to. toilet seat up. Okay. Um, so what what does a single person do on Valentine's Day? Like okay, like you know a, a normal, I'll, tell you, uh, I'll tell you what a single person does. What a single guy does on Valentine's Day? Well, you wouldn't know. Yeah, Jason. I, I Why are you know. answering fuck this question? Because I wouldn't know, you motherfuckers. Fuck y'all. Anyway. I guarantee you will be doing something for All Valentine's right, I'm Day. Not, he didn't say what I'm going to be doing. He said, what does a single person do on Valentine's Day? I'll tell you. For a dude, whatever the fuck he wants. He can sit, he'll wake up in the morning. He'll, he'll call a couple of friends or send out a couple of texts and be like, happy Valentine's Day, this, that, and the other, woo, 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 to some females and shit. And, and they'll be like, oh, that's so sweet. And they'll send them back. He'll probably go to the kitchen. Make himself a big ass bowl of cereal and shit. If he ain't got to go to work, if you know if it's a work day, he ain't gonna give a shit. He'll just go to work. Let's say it happened on the weekend. He gonna make a big ass bowl of cereal. He gonna scratch his nuts. Go to the living room. Turn on his PS3 or his fucking Xbox and shit. Throw on the game and fucking kick back and relax. Maybe watch some Netflix. Okay. Go out and chill. That's what a single. Well, nigga's I, do. I mean, that sounds like. I do that every day. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's what, but that sounds like Valentine's Day is just another day. That sounds like a lot a of guys. Re- that sounds like a lot of guys in relationships every day too. No, I don't. No, I don't. Really? No, no, no I don't. They go, they get up in the morning and they got to either make they they chick something to eat uh, or you know she, maybe she'll make them something to eat. Maybe she may, hey maybe he put it on her. She'll make him a sandwich. I don't know. But most cats in a relationship, they get in there they start playing the games and unless they got a cool chick, no, nah, she ain't having none of that shit. Not first thing in the morning. Not on a Saturday in the morning, no. I don't know. I I think V Pain could swing that. I think he could. Yeah. I think if V Pain was in a relationship, he could do that. But <laughs> this, this is what he'd be too busy. But no, but out okay, but, no, but back roses. to it. Like, but no, but uh, <laughs> V Pain. What exactly are you gonna do for Valentine's Day? Yeah, what you what you get going on, single guy? Uh, you know what? Uh, Jason kind of summed it up. I don't really don't know. What, what is it? Thursday? When is Valentine's Day? Yeah, go Thursday. to work. And do Thursday. I mean, Thursday. Go to work and then. Uh, Get, Come back and get ready for the weekend. Get ready for the weekend because my birthday is <laughs> on Saturday. So uh, we've been, you know, prepping yeah. every year. We take a, a birthday uh, 
trip somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. This this weekend is also going to be a a, a V weekend. It's we're gonna um this weekend we're gonna go out and we're gonna celebrate, if you will, for uh Mr. Payne over here. How old are you gonna be now? Thirty three? Uh yeah. Oh, that's old. Fuck you, I'm already thirty three, you dick. Damn man, I know you can t- I can tell you look really old. <laughs> Black don't crack, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, speaking of Shaka Khan and Felicia Rashad, I can probably still get it. So Stay off the there. crack. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say Shaka Khan and Felicia Rashad? Right, maybe not Felicia Rashad, but Shaka Khan could definitely get uh, it. Well, Ahmad would be offended that you just said that. Ahmad, yeah. they divorced. Did they? Yeah. He's with the white girl. Well, actually, they just got divorced. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, <laughs> Jason's <laughs> like, he fell in line with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's Valentine's Day. You know, I'm, I'm going to do the... Do the dinner and the movie, you know. Just so you are doing something. Yeah. See? I, did I not? Did I say I wasn't? I didn't say I wasn't. You said you weren't. Nope. No. I didn't oh. say that. Okay. No, no, no. I guess I. So he was speaking. When he was speaking about single person, he was speaking in hypotheticals. Oh, okay. right. He's not. He's in, in no way a single person. That's right. Wait, are you a single person? I don't know what my situation is, sir. Yeah, you're, what, what's that Facebook status everyone puts? It, it's, it's complicated. Compl- <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's complicated, Stevenson yeah. over here. There's no name to the shit. I, don't know I just don't get what's so complicated about it. What can be so complicated? I mean, you guys seem really happy. You know, like I mean, we good as friends, and we we cool. But I I'm just it's me, honestly. I'm shitty in relationships. Like I get in them, and once it gets real serious, like when it gets to like. People sharing addresses and shit. I get claustrophobic and it it I get freaked out. I'm not good. I'm a good friend. I think I'm a good lover, but when it comes to being a boyfriend, <laughs> good lover. I fucking suck at being a boyfriend. Let's like, not elaborate on the lover. Okay, well, I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just telling you the truth. Like no, up, I mean like, as a as a when you put a title on it or whatever. Like I fucking freak out. I get all with the I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me, dude. I I got some issues. I mean, me and E we we talked about it before. You know, like. I, I lost a lot of important, like, females in my life, you know, early on. And I'm pretty sure some of that had something to do with my, you know, fucking relationship shit. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure I got I could use a counselor out there sometime <laughs> in my life. Any therapist who would be willing to donate some time, please contact epic6p at gmail.com or uh, the Pit Podcast yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, I'll, I'll maybe cut some grass or something in exchange for getting my mind right. So <laughs> perhaps a free advertisement on the show that so all the tens and tens of people can listen to it. Yes, the <laughs> tens and tens. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's that's my that's my hang up and I know that and you know, I from now on I try to be as honest and straight up like, you know what? As a friend, I'm there for you. As, you know, a lover, I'm there for you. But as a boyfriend, <laughs> You probably don't want to get into that because no, uh, it's going it's it's going to end up being one of us hurt, and most likely it's going to be you. And <laughs> I'm I'm just being straight up. It is just how how I'm fucking wired currently, and I don't know how to fucking change it, how to back out of this shit. It's just it's been like that for a long time. I mean, at least you're honest about it. Yeah, that's a good. Thing. I wasn't at first. And I, I ain't gonna lie. Like at first, I'm like, and I'm trying to be honest with it, about it now more if I get into a situation. But before I wasn't, I was like, yeah, let's do this shit. Yeah. Move in, yeah. That's you know, oh shit. What did I do? And then I jam, which is fucked up, and that yeah. that hurt two important people in my life. So, yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, when we were younger, I mean, we all want that. You know, nigga, this was like a few years ago. <laughs> this is oh, like well, this was last year. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> J- Jason was like, man, this was Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm just dirt bag. When I was younger, I was that dude. Like a motherfucker could ask me, hey, uh, when my my ex in high school. You know, we were together for a minute. Motherfucker asked me, hey, how long have uh, you and your girl been together? And I'm that nigga like, one year, uh, four months, uh, two weeks, three days. <laughs> like you're doing and time. Looking at, my, looking at my watch like, mm, since lunch, nigga, we've been together that long. <laughs> that was me then. And shit just went fucking bonkers and Same. haywire, nigga. And then I lost it. And I'm just like. So you're like, you're like the cat in prison who's making marks on the wall <laughs> with every day that goes by. Only 733 <laughs> days left. And I'll be free. <laughs> Not, I mean, not that that extreme, but you you could almost say that, but it's not that extreme. It's like, I don't know. I just, I just know I got fucking issues and problems. Yeah, I, I, I think what it is, it's just the thought of commitment and monogamy sounds like the most horrible thing in the world to you. Well, that or he's just an asshole. That there is that. Well, I I know I'm an asshole. I know I have asshole tendencies, and I know I can be an asshole. I try not to be an asshole, but I know I I know I am at times. Yes, you were correct on that one. But 
not that they sound horrible, but and I think that a lot of it too goes into why I don't want kids is because that whole thought of like forever and that whole thought of like having to be responsible for somebody else forever fucking scares the shit out of me, dude. Like I can't, I it really fucking scares me. I can't fuck with it, so I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, no, technically you still can because I, I, if you heard the first show. Jason was, you know, he's planning on doing this whole snip snip thing at the end of this month. On the twenty eighth, son. On Man, the twenty eighth. I hope something goes wrong. Are they, motherfucker, really? No, I mean like, you know, after the surgery you you're in bed and, and you're doing it and Yeah, you didn't give it time to heal. No, no, no. I'm giving it time to heal. I'm not I'm not playing with it. Don't, dude, it's a fucking major surgery and it's my dick. I'm like I'm taking this shit mad serious. Take these your balls. Well, yeah, but I'm saying it's the whole package. They here. sniff your dick. It's something <laughs> really wrong. All right, well, it's my balls. I'm taking the whole package fucking serious is he's what like, I'm saying. He's like, I'm already circumcised. <laughs> no. There's some old Jewish guy in there with the little curls hanging from the sideburns. He's like, you son of a bitch. He comes with a little guillotine. <laughs> nah, wow, man. I, I, I mean, I respect I'm, you, man, but I don't know if I can get my balls snipped. You know, like well, you want family though. You want more kids. No, you want then, more kids. I don't want nobody like, no, he's just it. he's just a man. You know, I don't want anybody touching my balls, let alone cutting it up. Uh, they're not cutting up my balls. They're not throwing these bitches on the fucking. You don't on, know. You'll they're be, not gonna cut them up and then just like take them out and then throw you them don't on the fucking know. You won't be able. Grill. You won't be able to see over your belly to tell what they're doing. They could be doing that. You don't know. They so, could be. speaking of that, I was thinking of like having a nurse or whoever's in the room hold a mirror and just fucking record the shit on my phone. And like go through the procedure and then put it on the podcast. I don't know how crazy that okay, would be. Okay, I don't know about video, but what I do no, want to no, do video, just like audio, just me. Okay, what I what I want is I want to come in there with the audio recorder, and I just want to I want to hear the the snip sound, uh, and I want to hear you scream. <laughs> I'll, I'll be numbed, son. I, I I hope they numb it wrong. Cause Seriously, what the fuck? I, I'm glad y'all are my friends. Cause if y'all motherfuckers were my enemies, man, this would be some some really shitty shit to Damn, be saying. I wish I had a like a doctor's degree. So I would be <laughs> love to be the guy who cut his you know cuts his balls off. Wow, you want to hold my balls? Is what you're saying? No, nah, I just want to fuck wanna, up on no, no, you. He, 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 he's the guy from Django. <laughs> 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 you're hanging upside down. <laughs> with just swinging. Metal me, metal mask on, and <laughs> he's just go up there just yeah. cuffing your balls. <laughs> I oh, can't wait to cut <laughs> these things off, some bitch. <laughs> I know, man. Smart Let's reenact upside. that scene with Jason. Let's <laughs> not. That has to be a heavy duty thing to hold him upside down. <laughs> you better get a fucking engine hoist. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, crane. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do on a construction site. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> well, you know what? So, yeah, that's my thought on the whole thing and relationships. And I respect shit, that, man. So. Oh, I mean, I'm on it. This is about as honest as I can be. So, it's good, man. That's what it is. Speaking of relationships, here's something I want to talk about. All right. So, we all have parents, right? No. Well, <laughs> at one point in time, yes. yes. <laughs> when we when we were at an age where we need a parent, that's yes. what I'm saying. And so, okay, so, you know. You became an adult, and you know you were a man. And you did your own thing. Van Chase, same thing. He same thing. Did you? If you were twenty seven, and you lived with your parents, would you allow them to tell you that you couldn't go somewhere or tell? I, I all right. We would have grown up in two different households. If I was twenty seven and I lived in my mama's house, and she said something thing. It wouldn't be a matter of me allowing her. <laughs> it would be, how much do I want to make sure my shit is not uh, on the curb when I get back right. home? Like, I could have a, but I could have a discussion with my mother, and we wouldn't have that problem because well, she would understand I'm grown. <laughs> and, and where this is coming from is we have a friend, like a dear, dear friend to us. He's like a family member, uh, our boy Binks. And he was supposed to be on the podcast tonight, but, you know, for various reasons, you know, he is just his situation is. It is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's and, and we love him to death, and we we wanted to be on the show, but he can't because, like I said, I guess at some point when you you make the you know, he made the choice. You know, he's, he's still living at home. Nothing wrong. Plenty of people do that. Yeah. Plenty of people. Do that. I know people who are in their forties are doing that. Yeah, that's not an issue. But the fact that it's some people they don't want to allow the cord to be cut, and I guess for me, my from, I I don't understand that. I guess because in my situation, I've been kind of, you know, you, you was independent for like, a long time. Like 18, 19, right? Or before yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, just essentially, like, you know, I mean, you just, because I guess, I, you know, two of us here are parents. Yeah. And I guess my whole standpoint, like, on parenting is, you know, and this is more about the parents than it would be on Binks itself, because 
I always kind of think, hey, as your parents, uh, when your parents, I mean, this is what my parents told me. You teach your kids right from wrong, right. and you cross your fingers after that. Right. You know, and you let keep, them find a way in the world. Keep a belt in your hand, just but, in case. Since you're never gonna have kids, right? If you did have kids in this hypothetical world, <laughs> like let's ha- just see, he can adopt. <laughs> he can adopt, you know. But no, I, I, what would you like? Okay, let's say, uh, how would you hope that you're, you know, if you even if you, okay, let's say, I think I'm, I guess my standpoint is I'm thinking that even if if my son was still in the home, like however old, I don't care, twenty, thirty, forty, whatever, right? right. And I'm I'm being strict on my house, my rules. Blah 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 blah. Right. I would kind of think in, in the back of my mind, I would hope that dig down deep, grow some balls, and tell me I'm a grown ass man. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move out, and make it in this world. You know, like that's what, that moment I would be probably pissed at the time, but I'd be like so proud, like yes, like, the motherfucker grew up here. Yeah, you know. But I think in his situation, honestly, it's like there's no. I, I don't think they have. Uh, faith that he can make it on his own and honestly i don't know if he feels he can make it on his own you know what i mean i know that he, he may have some some social anxiety things and stuff like that i'm not quite sure but right. from just from being with the dude for almost you know yeah what two years or whatever like he's, he's a cool cat but he's a quiet cat you know we know how we we know how he is but as a parent like i would hope okay i'll teach you right right from wrong i'll tell you what to do, how to do everything, how to keep things, you know, how to how to live, you know, and then hope and pray that by a certain age you you're ready to go out and and do it. Whether it be going to college and you just you know like, I'm moving into the dorms, okay. Yeah. I I pray that you you do right from wrong and please don't let the cops have to come and you know tell me to bail you out. Or if you're still living at home, yeah, you got to live by certain rules and yeah, you got to live by certain. Certain whatevers, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you're 27. I know that in this time, you have never came home with the cops. You never come home, you know, high or eh, maybe drunk, but whatever. You're grown. But you've never been in real trouble. Right. The most I can do is, like you said, <laughs> teach you right from wrong and cross my fingers and, and just pray for the best. You guys got to understand that, you know, we're, every culture is different. I mean, like, uh, especially with I mean, Asian culture. Yeah. Growing up, really strict. Really, I mean, like you can't do certain things. Especially, I mean, for a guy, it's more lenient. But for girls, you got to stay home all the time. But I can understand his point of view. I mean, his point of view, his his family's point of view because they're really strict. It was a you know Asian people. They they want their kids to succeed. You know, it's like they want to go to school. Well, everybody wants their kids to succeed. Go to a great university right. so they can show off to their you know friends and family. That's a, that's an Asian thing. You know, it's like I'm not saying every culture does right. not want the same but thing, but. Every but at twenty seven. Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean that, that when you're, I can see like sixteen to nineteen around there. Like you know, kids are wilding out and kind of like they think they know what the fuck is up and they think I'm a grown ass man. And no, you're you're just a little kid. You still yeah, you, you don't know shit. And, and the thing is, is I don't want to make it seem like we're picking on him or shitting on him. Really, we love Banks and we we really wanted to be here tonight. And I'm not gonna shit on him about anything until he's on the show, right, because right. then that that's when the good times start. <laughs> but no, I, I it just made me think about just a situation, you know. Because like I said, I have kids, and you know, when I get older, like uh, when they get older, it's like we're gonna be po- eventually posed with this situation, you know. Like, how do you treat an adult child living in the house? Like, do I guess for a parent that would be hard too, because. It dep- I think honestly, it probably depends on the maturity of the child. Well, not only that, but I think as a parent, no matter, no matter how old your kid gets, you're still a parent. Right. Right. You know, like you know, my, my sister's situation. Yeah. It's you know, I, I have a sister who's around the same age actually, and it's the same type of thing. It's like, well, my parents aren't strict on her or anything, but like, just, you know, my dad's and my parents like, you know, their house, their rules. Respect my house. Yeah. yeah. You don't like the rules and get the fuck out of my house you know but it, it's, it's kind of you know kind of like that so i get it and you know they always say you can't ever you don't stop being a parent you don't stop being a parent age doesn't matter but at some point it's like you got to take that to me i think you got to take that almost power or take that the decision away from your parents and be like mom dad you don't have to parent me anymore because 
guess what? You're giving me all the tools. Yeah, and I'm ready to make it in this world. And you know what? And if I if I can't make it, I'll be back. <laughs> don't 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 turn my room into the library. Yeah, do quite not yet. put the workout equipment in my room yet. <laughs> I I do. Uh, there better not be a treadmill where my bed is in a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can understand where he's coming from. But yeah, no. Mean. But like I said, you know, and Bink's parents are amazing. His mom they're is the people. best, and very yeah, very they're good freaking people. amazing. And Binks is amazing too. And, and they want to, you know they want what's best for their kids. Know, and he just he's it. been going through it. I, mean, I know he's gonna listen. And I, you know we all want the best for you, Binks. And yeah, we we need you on the show. So cheer up, get your shit together, man, and get the fuck out on the show. <laughs> and come out with us this weekend, man. It's gonna be yeah. epic. Yeah, because this weekend, I mean, Vance only turns thirty three once. This is true. Yeah. This weekend is gonna be full of debauchery, tomfoolery, shenanigans. Any obscure adjective you could think of, it's gonna be that. Yes, we're just gonna go there. See, I mean, you remember Vegas last year? It was okay. Because like here's the thing about our, our crew: it's we have like okay, we have just like the the Sarlax, the immediate crew. You know, which which is you know one. It's all one big crew, but it's, you know that's they're all in Modesto. We you the Epic Six crew. You know, that's that, that's essentially us, right? But then when we combine with the CSC. <laughs> it, it it becomes something glorious. The CSC now this, these these are our friends. These are now these are not, not, not these family. are family. Uh, they, literally family. Like Vanche's cousins and uh, I guess uncle <laughs> kind of <laughs> uncle cousin whatever same thing. Right. But um, but yeah, they're family and, and these guys, they party like like seriously like fucking rock stars. Yeah. Yeah. We can't hang with them. Well, shout out to Phil Sa Na. I love you guys, man. Hawk, Gator, and Vampire. There you go. <laughs> we will uh, yeah. see you guys this weekend. Yeah. And, and if you're listening down in L.A., boy. Yeah, boy. Boy, like, I hope you can come up this weekend and um, shout see, out to, see, uh, see a blackout at a baby shower again. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to, to V and uh, Poupong. Oh yeah, Poupong, uh, yeah, legend, the legend. <laughs> okay, legend. you know what? Like, uh, he just is maybe, the legend. No, seriously. Okay, so, so that that. Okay, we're talking about partying. We're talking about people that we look up to. This man, legend, is okay. Have you, you guys have seen? Uh, is it Wedding Crash? Old school. What? No, well, Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers. Yeah. Okay, Will Ferrell's character in Wedding Crashers. Right. That is legend. <laughs> this, okay, this this guy. Right. How how old is your uncle? V? Uh, he's probably thirty six. I think thirty six, thirty seven, around there. It looks like he's twenty five though. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, he is like a magnet. Like he doesn't try. He walks in a club. He literally looks, just scans the room. He walks in. It's almost like time slows down. And he walks in. He claps his hands like this, <laughs> spreads them out like wings are about to soar. <laughs> and literally, one to three ladies will walk up to him. Like it's nothing. It's almost like Dave Chappelle. Remember that, that Rick James sketch where he he he, he kisses the one girl, and he walks and licks the other girl on the side of the face. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> That's what he does. He's like, I'm legend, bitch. You know, and, and it's you know, just it's it's we, amazing. We thought it was we thought it was just a, le- a legend, a myth, but we saw it with our own eyes. Saw it happen. Yeah. And if you are there. Were you there? Yeah. You yeah, were there. Okay. You were there. Remember the? Uh, well, okay. So we're okay. Here's an awesome story. We're in Vegas. Right. Wait, right. If this was at any of the clubs, I was. Oh no! Was wait, I don't know if it was Vegas and Resto, but it happened more than once. So either way, but we're we're out and about at at a club, and um, Legend's there, and he's being Legend, just dancing whenever walk up to some girl. We look away for a second. We're high five and taking shots, and we look over at him. He's making out with some some broad, right? and we're like, "What the hell? This freaking guy's awesome!" <laughs> Doing this thing. I kid you not. Less than three four minutes later. He he looks he he like says bye to the girl, turns around to her friend that she came with, <laughs> starts making out with her too. I mean, you can't write this shit in movies. No, nah, no. Nah. They were from France, by the yeah. way. Yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, he they can't if they can't speak the language, he understands one language, the international <laughs> language of love. That's it. And seriously, like, he is someone that if if you're a single male in this world. You should look up to the legend. Yeah. We it's, call it's, him the legend for a reason. It's kind of a dude to model your life after. You know, depending and on what 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 uh how you live. And, and and you know, it, another thing that makes him a legend. We've all it, it, I'm not going to describe what it is. So if you don't know what this is, you can look it up in urban dictionary <laughs> or but, switch off the podcast cuz it's going to get really nasty. Okay, so <laughs> No, don't switch it off. The, 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 I lied, don't. Switch there's it. a 
uh, something that's widely it's pretty known. It's called the Blumpkin, right? And which was horrible. Line. We we've heard about it. You know, you hear about that just like you hear about the Mexican avalanche or the Cosby sweater. Yeah, you know the steaming waffle. You hear you know, all these crazy things, right? You think, oh, that's just gross, but it's not a real thing, right? Wrong, <laughs> wrong. No, somebody's done this and named it. Okay, so he described to us that on not one, not two, but multiple, multiple occasions, different girls. He has actually received the Blumpkin. And at first, because you know, we first started talking to him as he was telling us about this before we saw him in action. I think bullshit. Who would? I mean, what girl in the right mind would do this shit? They they fall under the hypnosis of the legend. <laughs> what girl in the right mind would make out with a guy who just made out with their friend two minutes ago? I I don't really uh. I I'm, I don't I don't judge her. <laughs> I, I have never seen someone as smooth as the legend. And the thing is this, he just he just walks up to him. He doesn't even say anything, he just looks at them. He locks eyes with them. He literally does this thing with his hands and he starts moving his shoulders slowly from side to side like like in in this like almost like a winding motion and it's literally like the, the a snake charmer. Like you see the girls like coming out of the snake basket like <laughs> <laughs> and you see them lock eyes with him and then all of a sudden they're in his trance and then they're his prey. Yeah, it, it it's it's magical. I don't it, know how he does it. I I don't know his <laughs> mystery. I, I seriously like I miss that guy. I I, yeah, he, I, I miss your uncle being around. He was a man. fun guy, man. One one day we gotta get him out of uh, we're gonna, from Seattle. Yeah, we're we have to, to, fl- to fly to Seattle. We have to fly to him to be, get him on the podcast because seriously, we could fill a month's worth of shows with just his <laughs> stories. <laughs> I I, I, I want to get a shirt with his picture on it and just put legend under it and just wear it everywhere I go. <laughs> or a or statue in the front or... yard. <laughs> like seriously, like the hawk, like he, he, he and the hawk and Gator and all these guys, they're, they're striving to be the legend. Like everyone's, everyone wanted to be the legend. Yeah. And it just, I mean, I think we found his heir apparent. The man with the golden jaw. Not close. The thing Not is, what, what, where the legend, he has the same jaw line, too. He has, he has that jaw structure. And so I, I think that's what it is, the family jaw. Like, V-Pain over here, you're you're not there yet. No. But you're like a Padawan to, you know, his <laughs> Jedi. It's like, you're going to be there, Luke. That's right. Who's Luke. that, uh... Obi Wan and uh, yeah, he's your Obi Wan, Annie, <laughs> Annie. <laughs> and, and the thing is, is if Annie, if Annie is humble and he's modest, and you know we're not gonna blow up a spot or anything. But he's a really, he's genuinely a good guy. But he just, it's the same thing. I've, you don't try, and girls just fall for you. You don't go, I'll go for them all or anything like that. But it's just. It's this hypnosis thing that you have over there. I think it's the I, jaw. No, I know it, it's just your personality. You go up and talk to somebody, and they like you, and that's it. I mean, there's no secret, you know, there's no magic. Yeah, that's bullshit, and, sir. No, I mean. <laughs> right. No, that's bullshit. I got a great fucking personality. I make a lot of good friends. And and you're hard not to notice. Yeah, I'm a big motherfucker, in case you haven't seen me. I'm not fat. Look, I'm just no easily science. visible. Look, I mean, look at me. I'm a small dude with a big head. I look like Data from the Goonies. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't matter. You like know be- what, though? You know who people remember from the fucking Goonies? Data. Data. And Chunk. And Chunk. That's it. They remember Chunk the fat man. dude and the Asian kid. <laughs> I'm sitting <laughs> at the table with both of them right now. This is awesome. <laughs> I mean, it stood out. So, Jason, um, do the truffle shuffle for me. <laughs> but no, like uh, like I said, dude, it's, a, it's personality, man. I mean, like, I mean, you can be the, uh, the cutest looking guy. You can be a hunk. You got this eight pack abs and, you know, like, you're just raw steel. You know, you're like, you're just chiseled, you know, and. But if you don't have personality, man, what's that gonna go? You know, you can't use that. I mean, wh- really? Because these douchebags are fucking winning out here. While no, the good no, no, guys no, no, are no, 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 no. The douchebags are banging whores. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's club. true. That's true. And, and, and that's the true. whores are just, you know, they're douchebags. They're doing too. that whore. They're doing that whore job. But like to actually get nice girls to fall for you and stuff like that. That's well, yeah, yeah. You gotta be. That's a, something different. You gotta be a smooth criminal. You know, like I, like right. I, I tell myself, man, I'll never meet a girl. Like I'll never date a girl from the club. Like if I see a girl in the club, I meet her. I won't date her. Yeah. Not because you know I, I'm thinking she's bad or anything. It's no, just, because it's not my 18 thing. other dicks have been inside her the past <laughs> probably 13 days. I'm pretty sure that's probably. No, one. <laughs> I just 37. Could be. Just, wait, am I 37? <laughs> like I'm cool with like hanging out with them at the club, but I'm yeah I'm never taking nobody home from the yeah, club. Yeah, a bar. I mean, 
I'm not even from the bar. No, I'm not. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't take. <laughs> I don't. I don't. No. 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 Like I'm, and plus I've never been that dude. Like, yeah, I can go up to people and like start a conversation and all that other, but. No, I'm not that cat who's you, you, like you, you don't know the ABCs. You're not you don't always be closing. Apparently not, dude. Like it was one, I'm not buying drinks for nobody because I'm cheap and broke. And when I'm out to drink, I'm pretty much out to get me hammered and not her. That's why you gotta be like Biggie, man. Soon see by that wine, I just creep up from behind. <laughs> <laughs> see you let I gotta let the other dude do right. all the all the all yeah. the money. You let him do the financing and you just you I do the romance and is that what it is? Uh, apparently, but uh, you apparently you can't close. Uh, see, I always viewed you as more of a closer. I'm not not a closer, dude. Because I just have fun. You're not Brian Wilson. You're just a setup man. I'm, I'm alright with that. Yeah. I'm alright. I can be a setup guy. You can be like Romo. You can develop into a closer. Yeah. Who knows? I'm I'm really down with just like going out. Like you know, we were talking about Donna Beats before. You know, they got their I think three dollar lazy. Uh, I am really lazy, but they get like their three dollar uh, drink specials and shit. That's a good time to be buying chicks drinks because then it's cheap and like you can buy pictures all day and just get them faded. No, no, I'm like, man, eh, I'm buying myself a drink because I'll go to a bar and walk back to a okay. table with four uh, beers. Okay, first of all, you're doing it wrong because <laughs> I'm not single and I've never done this, but if I was single and I did, I was this guy, what I would think is if your whole thing is I just want to get laid and I don't want to spend any money, right? You get drunk in the parking lot before. Right. Then you walk into the bar about one thirty, okay, and then you find someone with an equal level of inebriation as you, <laughs> and then you find the closest alley you can find. See, I'm not that dude. Like, I got the Cadillac and my I got big seats, but I'm not fucking in my car. Yeah, you can't. There's no space between your gut and the dashboard. That's well, the, I got a back seat, nigga. It's, it's huge. It doesn't matter. His back seat, get, back seat is pretty huge. It is, but so are you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You would have to find an alley. You don't find an enclosed space. Uh, You're I'm black. Sure. They can't see you. <laughs> you forget I wear bright clothes. <laughs> I'm a big dude and I draw attention. See, don't do that. Go like out wearing all, all black, all black <laughs> everything. All black, just an all black like <laughs> yeah. the omen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Have you saying this is for my homies? <laughs> <laughs> Wear some lokes so they can't even see your eyes. Oh, just like seriously, like that's oh, what you gotta man. do, man. Like, man. don't don't waste time trying to go back to your car because and with and you know you're a big dude, so you gotta strike while the iron's hot. Like you're not gonna have the energy once you get home. Once you get once you as soon as you sit down. Right, you're gonna be like, eh. <laughs> you want a sandwich? Yeah, <laughs> I just want to eat. <laughs> Is Del Taco open so I can get those gr- gross crinkle cut fries? Uh, leave Del Taco and our fries alone, son. Nah, I'm just. I'm, you're right. More of it, honestly. I'm lazy. No, this is true. I'm lazy and as shit when it comes to that, dude. I'm like, eh, why? What's the point? Putting in all this effort for? Eh. Oh, like I'd rather just go and get drunk my damn self and go, you know, chill out for a minute, get that nice little sober up, and then... Uh, Rub one out? Yeah. <laughs> Less fucking effort. <laughs> come home, knock... Self-love is the best love. Come home, knock on a little porn or something, knock one out, bam, go to sleep. No problems, no issues. I ain't got to wake nobody up, take them home, none of that shit. Just wake up and get a big bowl of cereal. So, little Chicago callus over yeah. here, man. <laughs> Chicago callus, you <laughs> dick. <laughs> The Calisco kid. <laughs> That's him. Uh, oh, yeah. rough palms. R- <laughs> RP3 over here. <laughs> no. Uh, but what, what about what about you, V? What's your uh, like? But see, V is the same way. Like we okay, go to wait. the club, and V is like he, he's dancing and having a good time. But his whole thing is just drinking too. Yeah, you know, I don't like that. Like I don't go to clubs looking for girls. I well, don't. You know like, what? CSC guys. Honestly, I, I never have either. Yeah, I, it was never my we, even when I was single. I, I can't. No, I just you know I I, I like to dance with like you know random people and girls and all that. But I, I'm not gonna be like, hey, I have my car in the back. Um, you wanna go? You know I can't. I cannot shack. You know I cannot <laughs> hook up with a girl. But you club. know you know if if you had an epic spin move in the club, oh nah. god, you probably could. <laughs> yeah, you need to get something to fucking counter wow. that spin, son. Fill up my. <laughs> gotta call you out. <laughs> Damn, Damn the government. It's the government name. I gotta cover. Government. I gotta call you out on the spin. The hawk. Now the hawk. Eric tells a better story of the spin, but uh, I think That's I'm some gonna. Shit you gotta see to believe. You yeah. have to see to believe. You can't. Hey, you know what? I, I'm thinking this weekend the spin part two is gonna come out. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna release this thing Tuesday night, right? I'm gonna call it out like this. If anyone's listening and they're in the the Northern California, 
Right. And you want to come party with the pit and the CSC and the Sarlax, you know, you go ahead and tweet us at, at the pit podcast and we'll let you know where we're at, where we're going to be. You can come party with us. We'll have beers. You're going to get crazy. It's, it's going to be epic. There is going to be some stories for next week. Hell yeah, we That's guaranteed. Down. Most definitely. So uh, if you want to party with us at the pit podcast, but in not in a non-smooth transition, right. I got a, I got a bone to pick with you, sir. Oh, shit. What do I, do? I, I seriously, I am so disappointed. Do I leave the toilet seat up? No, worse. Uh, Keep digging. You left the turtle, Phil? turtle head. Yeah, no, 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 head no. worse. What the fuck? Your suggestion of the shamrock shake was the single worst idea ever. That thing is effing. I saw that in vile. Person. Like, what the hell is it? It is horrible. It is like tastes like, like. Mint and piss <laughs> mixed together. Wow, that bad. With with, with a, a rotten cherry and some like weird, like stale freaking whipped cream on top. It was abysmal. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. Especially saying that is better than any of the shakes at Jack in the Box. You, sir, should I don't kill think yourself. I ever said that. Well, I think I brought up Jack in the Box after, and you said that you you said this was the creme de la creme. You said <laughs> I, I ain't never said that. It's one of my favorites. It is shit. Fuck you. It's awesome. What is awesome? I've been about in it? four of them already, son. I I fucking peaked the shit. No, out I'm of I'm serious. Like four I, of them. Son. I had one day at about two thirty. The aftertaste. <laughs> it is currently eight oh nine. I can't get this effing aftertaste out of my mouth. It is horrible. <laughs> I maybe you just had a bad one. I don't. How can there be a bad one? There's, it's a fucking pretty simple formula. You you put the goddamn syrup in with the fucking ice cream. You hit blend and you serve that shit in a cup. It's not exactly fucking science. And you, sir, being a man of larger carriage, I would have thought you had a better palate than you do. But obviously, you <laughs> like trash. You're like fucking Oscar. You just sit in the fucking trash and just picking out whatever and just eat it because it's there, not because it's good. Your taste in shakes <laughs> is shit. Why did uh, why did they start selling it now? Is it March? Uh, hey, I don't leave the gifts worth in the mouth. I appreciate the fact that these motherfuckers are selling it in February. Well, yes, yeah, so they made it. I'm happy as shit. <laughs> but if it's February, shouldn't they have some kind of like black shake? Yeah, like chocolate <laughs> shake, like some kind of specialty <laughs> chocolate shake or something. You or would like think. some drink for hey, like Chinese goes. New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like here we serve this for 28 days only, <laughs> and then it's gone. Yeah, they should at least could have put the McRib out in February. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, I just comes free. <laughs> I tried the McRib. I actually liked it. That shit is. Dude, it's ugh. no. I it, really it, liked it. There was nothing rib about it. Nothing. Though. Well, nothing. yeah, you can't I, eat bones. I don't know rib, why I liked it, but I tried. That's I like ate it once. Eating does it? That's like eating them fucking punk ass riblets at Applebee's. I'm like, mm, these are delicious. No, it didn't taste like ribs. Shit. I just taste like a freaking. It don't even taste like pork. Nothing. <laughs> I just like processed processed meat. You taste the fucking bun and the onions. <laughs> have you have you have you had the shamrock shake? No, I saw the picture. It looked good, but don't that do shit it. Is I fucking still delicious. Drink no, it now. fuck you. No, get a mint chip. Uh, if you if you're that's what you're looking for, go get a mint chip from Baskin Robbins, or go to fucking Jack in the Box and get whatever their equivalent is. That McDonald's one is McDonald's. You should be ashamed. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw shade at you, McDonald's. I say keep them bitches coming. And you should might as well keep them up all year round. Cause I would be if I was the only one, I'd be happy with that. Fuck it, 800 pounds Shamrock Shakes. I'm that dude. What the hell is in it? I don't know. It's like minty. It's it's mint and piss. Mm. <laughs> Those are the ingredients. I would say no. Uh, it, it. I, trust me. At least get a horrible. small one and try it. Right, I'll get one, and then I'll let you take a sip of mine. Yeah, I'll take a sip of it, but I won't like. Just, How you don't know you don't like it? I, I don't know. Just motherfucker. Look, I'll get one. You take a sip of mine. You don't like it enough way. You don't feel like you wasted your money, and I can just keep on fucking drinking because I love them. I look forward to these bitches. Every March, and now that they came out in February, I'm looking to I'm looking forward to them two months. I mean, they could have they could have made a strawberry shake and said Valentine's. They could have made a chocolate <laughs> shake and said Black History. But no, they came out uh, this fucking Irish fucking St. Patty's Day shake in fucking February, and it's an abomination. Shakes. <laughs> it is. Well, I, I apologize, sir, that you uh, don't like it. You should. But the shit's awesome. You sh- I'm yeah. gonna fucking every fucking year. I am shamrock shaking it up. The only specialty like drink I'll ever drink at McDonald's again is the sweet tea. Well, the sweet tea is awesome. Can't go wrong with sweet I tea. I want to try some sweet tea and bourbon. Apparently, that's the real way how they did it in the South. 
I don't know. Sweet tea, any type of alcohol with sweet tea is probably going to work. Yeah, that's true. I want to try some single, what is it, single malt scotch or single something scotch? Like that hella aged old Yeah, school. yeah, like some, some grown man shit. That, that's some sipping shit, though. I know, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. I want to see. You don't sip shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping on some scissor. Yeah, yeah. You don't I got the scissor about the house. That shit's horrible. <laughs> it tastes disgusting. Well, because you got the wrong one. Isn't that medicine? Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't. It's get the, the green one. I don't know. They just. Yeah, you got the wrong one. Well, they didn't have a purple one. I don't think I could have made a special request. You, you should have told them. <laughs> you said, "Sir, have you? If you've heard a Little Wayne song, you realize that <laughs> this ain't no purple. This is the drink of my people. <laughs> they ain't no. Don't offend me. I am not saying Little Wayne is part of my people. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> How about Trinidad James? I uh, know both of them niggas get that. <laughs> I, I I discovered that that Trinidad James. I know I'm late. I know I'm late. <laughs> but I discovered that son of a bitch today. <laughs> and if hip hop wasn't dead already, he killed it. He makes two chains look like Tupac. <laughs> oh, it is fucking ridiculous. This is the most. Well, I, I get ignorant well, shit you've ever heard in your life. I gotta say, Kendrick Lamar should have the fucking pocket defibrillator on on hand at all times to keep hip hop going. And uh, Mac Lamar, I like that. I like that dude too. Cat's pretty cool. So there, there's still some I, underground. I know, I, I'm cats. done. I, I've given up. You just say fuck it. Yeah, fuck and it. And if nineties uh, R and B on the way. I think if, <laughs> if Bieber, Justin Bieber, can rap, he'll, he'll sound better. <laughs> he's he'll sound yeah, better he's than tried, James. James. I'm, I'm, I'm not doubting that. I'm, I would, yeah. Hey, his his new album's pretty cool. Well, I ain't gonna lie, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you make also, any penny? You know I'm gonna come out right now. I like it. I like Taylor Swift. Right I like Taylor. You like Taylor Swift? Swift. Know, that girl man. can sing. Yeah. Yeah. You guys I'm, think she can't sing? I mean, no, no. I, wait, how are you gonna say you guys, motherfucker? I, I ain't never said she. Can I never sing. heard you listen to Taylor Swift. I ain't say I'm buying an album. Eric but I never has <laughs> kids. I didn't say I'm going to buy an album, but I also did not say did, that. The did girl anyone can't here sing. watch the Grammys? I didn't. No, I, I didn't either. Oh, I just heard. Oh, it. I heard shit. Alicia Keys tore it up, though. I love Alicia Keys, man. Yeah, I watched you. The, you, uh, you love her hips. No, nah, she's a great. She has a great <laughs> voice. She's also <laughs> gorgeous. She's beautiful. And I don't. Hips. I don't. You know what? I I don't. I don't like when the, the broads they they chop all the hair off. You know, with the pixie. Man, I should look I sexy, like man. She was, I mean, God. So yeah. So this beats like it, I guess. I love that little short hair, you know. Just you need something to hold on to. Wait, man. wait, 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 wait. J Lo, you guys right. see J Lo's dress? I uh-uh. mean, I, oh my god, man! You guys, I saw it on the internet. I was reading about it. She just had okay. She's a normal dress. Man, pull the shit up. But uh, she just had a uh, normal dress and basically her leg. She just had her leg, one like, leg out. Like, did it outdo the fucking the, the green dress, the old J Lo no, dress? You know, it didn't outdo that. No, but no. it was just her legs. I like you look at her legs. You're like, damn, I want to eat those right. legs. Here's a question. All right. I'll pose it to Manche first and then Jason. Alicia Keys, J Lo, Beyonce. Na- name one. Oh, no, 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 no. Marry one, fuck one, kill one. Go. MFK. Oh, shit. We're playing this game. MFK. Oh, God, man. Oh, well, it's just stars. I'm never going to get with them, anyways. Um, I could do it with real people if you like. No, no, let's not. <laughs> let's not go there. Um, well, let me see. Damn, you guys. Marry one, I'd probably say uh, Alicia Keys. Mm-hmm. God, who are you gonna fuck? Who are you gonna kill, man? Fuck one, I probably do Beyonce. Um, mm, you're gonna kill because ki- I probably do J Lo because she's been around the bend. So you're gonna kill J Lo? <laughs> I don't want to kill her. She's Latin. I know, I don't, yeah, but sure. I just I can't. If I'm doing her, I'll be doing like ten dudes. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, well, there's that. I'll okay. be kissing ten dudes' Jason. penises too. Uh, I'm gonna. I oh shit. All right, this is going to sound really fucked up, but because uh, I think it, she she can take care of me probably better than everybody else. <laughs> I'm going to go Beyonce. Um, and for... I, I'd probably have to... You realize you don't have to think this hard, motherfucker. Like, I'm this saying, is never going to happen. I know, I know. I'm saying, but... Yeah, yeah. I w- I'd probably uh, marry, marry Beyonce... Fuck Alicia Keys, but old Alicia Keys when she was thick as shit and she had that purple fucking outfit on, whatever video that was, she was swollen, a motherfucker. And then, uh, yeah, we just killed Jayla. It's fine. Because she lies. She yeah. was like, my love don't cost a thing. I can guarantee my black, poor ass can't no, walk but up she, and no, be but that's like, the thing hey. about, No, that's the thing about Jayla. She always gets with poor ass motherfuckers. Like, she was with, she had a couple famous ones. She was with, like, P. Diddy and uh, Mark Anthony. Yeah, the, the <laughs> creepy looking dude. And then, but then, then she'll, every, every other dude, she bangs a dancer. The motherfucker, like, I guarantee he's making, like, $22,000 a year. <laughs> and they're 10 years younger than him. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. No, her yeah, love probably. She like, Mar- she like Mariah and Nick. You know, she just ain't marrying them. 
Yeah, but Nick is at least had some notoriety prior to. Yeah, Nick Cannon was an true. actor. That's true. Yeah, he got a little something. Drumline. Some shine. <laughs> Drumline. Drumline was my shit. I love that movie. It is. It, make, it, 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 it makes you want to go to college. Uh, yeah, kind of. That stomps the yard, right? Not the second one. Not the, they made a second one. Yeah, that sounds hard. Well, I've been on a step team and I've also been on a drum line. So I, I, I would love, <laughs> I would love to see. J- I want to film Jason doing, like a, a being on the step team you while just drumming. See me do some activity. I do. <laughs> I, 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 I want to see you do everything yeah, except for have a heart attack. <laughs> Jason was on the swim team. So yeah, you got that right. I was on the swim team. What? What do you? What? What? What event? I was on the swim team. I pretty much swam everything. I can never do that fucking butterfly shit. Tits got in the way. No, nah, I just couldn't. I was small in high school. I ain't had tits. I want to see some footage of this swim team. That didn't happen. I want to yeah, see we you. would love to have footage. You can put old, on the website. Old, old Jason Phelps over here. <laughs> he could have been there. Once again, I could have either been on a court with a bunch of sweaty dudes, or I could have been no, on a field. No, you couldn't. Have. You're five foot a, three. That's true. Or on a field with a bunch of sweaty dudes, or I could go to a swim meet in a pool full of females. There's other dudes there, but whatever. I ain't looking at these niggas. There's a gang of females from all different schools. Also, the same reason for the bowling team. There were unisex teams. Like, <laughs> the fuck? The bowling team girls sound like the hor- most horrible thing ever. It sounds like... It's like nah, a- nah. We take, our sh- we take our bowling shit serious, son. Yeah, I know, but... Like, it- Chicago, dude, niggas, we bowl. It's like, like ping pong. <laughs> take <laughs> ping pong seriously. We we bowl. <laughs> like, nigga, we get down. I haven't bowled in a long time. My average is shit right now, but we bowl. We- now, let's get the air... Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's the, uh, MFK, on, MFK, man. nigga. MFK, you know me. You know my answer always. Kill them all. <laughs> all <laughs> right, you can't kill them all. MFK. I kill everyone. <laughs> Dick. But on that note, that's about it for this week. Uh, anything you guys want to plug going forward? Jason? All right. Well, uh, going forward, um, I just want to plug us, I guess. Um, <laughs> you want to plug us? That's not hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you nasty. Ah, uh, well, you know what I mean. Uh, basically, uh, check us out on www.epic6p.com. Uh, from there, you can get to all of our, our Twitters. Um, I don't know you motherfuckers individually. Mine is uh, Shy Town to Motown, or at Shy Town to Motown. Mine's uh, at Trey or Three Songs. Three Songs. T H R A Y S O N G Z. 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 Yes. He's one of the cool kids. That's yeah. right. Mine's at Epic Six underscore E. Yeah, and then um, we also actually this week we do have a secondary sponsor. Oh shit, we got a secondary yes. sponsor. We late breaking news: secondary <laughs> sponsor. Somebody else loves us, and they us. must know about Jason his bathroom habits because <laughs> it's a uh, our boy Ong has an awesome line of fragrances that suits all of your needs. Uh, go ahead and check out perfect dot dot us. That's perfect dot sc. E N T S Y dot U S for good smelling products for your home, car, and body. Jason, give him a call. Vanche, give him a call. And you out there listening, give him a call. Uh, actually, you wouldn't be giving him Check a call. Check him out online. Check him out <laughs> online because there is no goddamn phone number. And uh, if and when you uh, if you do purchase anything, tell him you heard it here. Yeah. All right. And on that note, uh, kill yourselves. Yeah. Peace. Keep on listening, y'all. Die. Love you guys. <laughs>